Local Bertham, this is uh, for public. So what I like about oh, visiting yeah. this <laughs> village, Local Bert, is that. <laughs> oh, we do see him. Au revoir. Au revoir. Goodbye. Adieu. Salam. Salam alaikum. It's always nice to have a literal um, yard. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm in Lokerberg, or in French, Lois Le Bain. So many people are coming here regardless of the seasons because there's lots, lots of activities that they can do both indoor and outdoor. COVID-19 doesn't prevent us from discovering this beautiful season. However, we are all aware of this pandemic. I'm myself aware of this pandemic and I know how to protect myself and also you know how to protect yourself. Well, Local Park is very well known with its um, thermal bath, central wellness, skiing. Definitely, there are so many worth um, visiting places apart from what I just told you right now. So, before escorting you around, I'd like to remind you to click subscribe this channel and press the bell icon too. Now, let's discover this city together after this intro. You guys see my shadow, right? Hello everyone, this is the second day of me visiting this uh, village or city, local bath or in French it's called uh, Lois Liban. I'm going to show you the, uh, the surrounding of the city and then you, uh, you guys uh, can uh, comment on, on what do you think about this uh, village, alright? So then, why don't you follow me, okay? So, let's go. So, if I may say that the source of income for these inhabitants, I mean, uh, the inhabitants in this village is um, tourism. So they really rely on the uh, tourism. It's really interesting so, to see that the whole village is full of attractions, full of hotels. As I said before guys, so many hotels in this village or in this small city, local bird. Many hotels because many tourists are coming here, no matter what uh, seasons. So they just like to come here to, to feel the nature, you know. So it's, uh, I, I myself found that this city is quite interesting or this village is quite interesting it's very touristic but yeah again yeah you you really have to be able to to discover you really have to be fit uh, in order to discover the city because no many uh when I mean, there's no um like public transportation that carry that, that carries you around so you have to be ready with you know your shoes, spot shoes. The city is very small. I don't know how many inhabitants live in here, but yeah, I'll show you around this city. That is, uh, I mean, the buildings close to where I stay. It's quite nice. So let me show you around the uh, the mountain in this village. Wow. You know, far from uh, this camera, I, I cannot zoom it. Maybe uh, I can show you a bit. There's uh, some snow, you know, remaining snow on the mountain, but it's not for skiing. But of course here there's uh, some snow, uh, some ski station, I mean, and uh, people can come here for skiing during winter time. So 
what people can do or tourists can do when they visit a local bot here is that during winter for example they can go for skiing because there are some ski stations around here and also you can do after skiing um, like a thermal bath enjoying this uh, the spa and yeah and tu peux faire, vous pouvez faire aussi randonnée de randonnée ici c'est très agréable du coup c'est très bien you know regardless of, regardless of the uh, the weather or the seasons people come to local bar or louis liban here and they, they enjoy themselves because uh, there is uh, you know um, thermal bath hot spring where people can you know relax after having a hectic days or hectic months due to the um, workload and they come here for relaxation so also what I like about visiting this village Lovkorbat is that the houses the old houses they still keep like this wooden house in front of you it's amazing and the door is so small I can imagine that those guys I mean the, the inhabitants at that time was I mean were uh, small consider uh, uh, I mean uh, as compared to today and uh, let me uh, show you closer here uh, this is not a typical of Ensign's house that uh, people here still keep it you know to preserve uh, the history of their um, ancient generations you see how large is the wood so big this one and yeah again I'm showing you the wooden house that they still uh, preserve until today and uh, look at this uh, wall and also the uh, the doors the two wooden doors is not big at all it's amazing to see this city you know all this village and I like I like to see the uh, you know the massive wood lock that they are using really big wooden lock and another thing that I like also the walls you know they make the wall like the skin of uh, snakes and this is quite you know unique to me you see I saw you closer yeah Wow, isn't this amazing guys? So another house, another wooden house I mean that I want to show you. Look at this, uh, the door. Uh, the door is quite small uh, as compared to today's house door. And the wood they are using is quite massive. Yeah? It's a lot. Uh, it's really nice but it's, I think it's not very cheap to build the house I mean a wooden house like this the wooden lock I don't know how many how many uh, maybe hundreds of wood uh, or trees I mean that they are uh, cutting to to make this wooden house and the base you see this exactly wooden a big wooden lock and the funny thing that they are using this this is rock they use rock for the base of their house how so guys it's really nice again to discover another wooden house in this village they preserve it until now I cannot um, unfortunately I cannot go inside uh, to see the interior of this wooden house how it looks but we can imagine anyway the door again quite small 
and this wood you see it's a big one really big wood I don't know what they are uh, using with this cage kind of maybe for their animals or uh, their stuff so but still this wooden house is quite impressive and the door guys this door for me I have to bend myself because uh, otherwise I will stuck my head on the uh, on the wood there's in front of you also a wooden house they renovate uh, I'm going to show you the you know downstairs you can see the the doors you know the size of the doors and then the walls and on top of the wall they built a wooden house again I think this is kind of renovation of that building house like this one another wooden house so amazing to see this kind of things so if you like this kind of cultural stuff I recommend you guys to come to Leukerbad to see the lifestyle and the culture of the houses, the, the building of the houses it's really nice and of course another activity that you can also do here the river wow The water is so clear. Nice, guys. You guys see again this uh, old wooden house. I don't think they preserved this, but I guess they uh, use it as an antropo or warehouse, maybe. No idea, but it's really nice to see the, the types of the models of the wooden house. That they still have it until now okay so let's continue okay back to my hotel now So I just want to show you that this this is also a hot spring. It's the water is warm and it's natural. It's really nice, but they don't turn on. I think every um, every time. I said this hotel was built in 1961. Wow, it's quite old. Uh, I guess another hotel is being built now in front of you guys but frankly speaking this village is quite small so you can discover maybe say uh, two hours going around and then you will finish and you will know all the um, all the spots or all the places you want to, to visit but to go up the mountain is another thing they also have a clinic here, as you see here. Leo Kubert Clinic, so they have a kind of hospital. Leo Kubert, um, this is uh, for public. People can go and uh, enjoy the uh, thermal bath or the hot spring. It's quite big, I don't know how much it costs, but uh, you guys can check it out. They have their website. And uh, in my hotel, I can enjoy the hot, hot spring indoor and outdoor hot spring pool and also uh, some wellness like sauna. It's also fitness. That's really nice. But... So guys, as you have already discovered, I escorted you around to see the city and uh, I found myself, for me, it's like uh, it's really interesting because the, the ancient wooden house are still preserved and some of them they turned, uh, they renovate I mean and they turned it into a hotel which is good and yeah 
what I uh, can say here is that uh, if you have time, you have a chance, then uh, I encourage you to uh, visit this small city, town. There are so many things that you can discover. So if you like this video, please don't forget to click the thumbs. So give me your opinion. What do you think about this uh, small excursion? And uh, again, don't forget to click subscribe and press the bell icon too. I'm Titulo Giovanni. Thanks a lot uh, for being with me, watching my video, and I'll see you again soon. Ciao.